The Justice Department is expected to meet today with the two largest cable companies to discuss their planned merger. Bloomberg News reports government lawyers may recommend blocking the deal between Comcast and Time Warner Cable. Comcast is offering $45 billion. The merger would give it more than 30 million subscribers and 30 percent of the pay television market. As we have reported, Minnesota Senator Al Franken is fighting the takeover. He and five colleagues sent a letter Tuesday urging the government to pull the plug. Senator Franken joins us now from Capitol Hill. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, the obvious question is why are you opposed? What's wrong with this merger? Uh, this is a merger which is, we create a behemoth uh, that would be anti competitive and not in the public interest, and that's. Uh, DOJ, the Department of Justice, has to decide whether this is uh, any competitive, and it is. And uh, the FCC has to decide whether it's in the public interest, which it isn't. This is the number one cable company buying the number three cable TV company. It's the number one internet provider uh, buying the number three internet provider. They would have 57 percent of all of a broadband internet. Uh, this would create one huge behemoth that has way too much power. We need more competition in this sector, not less. When they say they need it so they can compete, you know, with people like Apple and others like Amazon who are streaming. Well, uh, if you're talking about getting your TV, uh, broadband internet is the way to get your TV. People who are uh, cutting the cord, the cable, they're going to the internet, and this company would control 57 percent of all broadband internet in this country. What this would mean to consumers is higher prices, less choice, and if, poss if it's even possible, worse service. But you Senator, Senator Comcast yes. says that a merger will improve the video and the broadband experience for the customers because they'll have twice as much video on demand as Time Warner cable and 25 percent faster internet speeds. Does that do anything to sway you? No, well, they say things and do other things all the time, and that's just the, the history of this. One of the reasons that uh, DOJ and FCC are looking at this is that they haven't lived up to the conditions that were imposed on the last acquisition they made, which was NBC Universal. This will be less choice, less competition. What we need is more competition if you want higher speeds. Any conditions or concessions that would help you change your mind? No, uh, the FCC and, and the Department of Justice don't have the capacity to, to enforce those conditions. That's been shown in the past. This is a deal. This, this creates a giant company, unprecedented in size, in telecommunications. It's just going to be bad for Minnesota consumers and for consumers nationally. Senator, at this point, what, what do you think the chances are this, this merger goes through or doesn't go through, realistically? Well, I'm not a prognosticator, but I think it, uh, I think when it started, and I was the only senator opposing this, it was considered a fait accompli. I think now the odds are that it will be uh, rejected. Uh, can I turn to one other quick thing? David Letterman is retiring, and you suggested he ought to run for the Senate. Does that mean <laughs> yes. you think, does that mean you think we need more former comedians in the Senate? Yes, I think we need, uh, <laughs> you know. Mr. Colbert, I. Mr. Franken, I. Uh, Mr. Miller, no. Mr. Letterman, I. You think you think we'd have a better country if we had more comedians in the Senate? Well, uh, you know, sometimes uh, uh, students ask me, "How do you become a U.S. senator?" And I say, "Do comedy for about 35 years and then run for the Senate. It works every time." All right, Senator. Thank you, Senator Franken. Franken. You, you have bet. the last word on that. Thanks a lot.